Welcome to another new podcast, everyone. We are back with some more videos and reactions, and I got some clips you're gonna wanna see today. We have some delusional women, we have some women that think they can compete with men, and we even have some red flags. So we're gonna take a look at all of that. Before we do, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you're turning on your notifications so you know every time I release a video, and make sure you show a little love to the like button, but let's get into it. $60 for $600? Know how this fire started? Yes, I do. It was because of my cousin. And I don't want to mention no names. Excuse me, say what? Your cousin? Yes. Um, and you say you think your cousin started this. Uh, do you know how or why? He's mad because he couldn't, he can't get with me. What? <laughs> I'm married to my husband. Make it short. Yeah. Wow. Now this is out in Ohio, so I'm gonna need somebody from out there to explain what are y'all doing up there? Is this common? Like what the hell? God showed me that this guy is my husband, right? This guy's in a relationship, but he's not married. And I asked my pastor, I say, Pastor, God showed me that this guy was my husband in the dream. And my pastor said, well, if God showed you that, that means that's your husband. Hmm. And if you try to be with what? anybody else, it ain't gonna work. And that is surrendering to God. I can't go be in another relationship or this relationship nah. or that relationship. It's not gonna work because God already chose this person for me. Even though he's in a relationship, nah. right? But he's not married. God honor marriages, not boyfriend what and girlfriend. I never heard somebody just being open, so open about that or okay with that. Because like, how is that? I'm a real person. How was that? How is it? Yeah. Most days you cry because you want them to yourself. Do y'all um, stay together? No. Is it like Polly? No. You the, got daughters? I got one daughter. You got one daughter. What do no. you tell your daughter in that situation? If she's, if, if your daughter is Akbarvi right now, right? And she said, you know, God came to me in a dream and she said, this man has a, is in a relationship, but he's my husband, right? What do you tell your daughter? I tell my daughter to sit back and pray. Yo, I don't even know what to say. You really think God told you to take a man from another woman and make him your husband? He really wants you to be with somebody that's unloyal and you could just easily take from somebody else? What happens when another woman has a dream? Should she be able to take your man from you? Because if that's the case, then you can't be mad if he cheats because he just might be getting a sign from God to go to the next woman. And this is the bullshit that you hear coming out of these hoes mouths today. They will find any reason to justify the BS that they're going through. Let me tell y'all how to spot a lame even when he's single. Oh, One of the boy. biggest tips is when he's comfortable being posted up, being posted out with different women all the time. Real men, a real boss mentality, a boss status, don't want to be seen with nobody if it ain't his wife or his girlfriend. He don't want no hoes, getting no clout, or even being attached to his name, even if he is single and out here dating until he get the right one. Wait, 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 wait. So why is it that throughout history, powerful men have always had multiple women around them if that's the case? Doesn't make any sense, but we're gonna let you continue. Y'all gotta stop thinking that that's attractive. I cut a dude off just for that reason alone. You're goofy with no standards and no self-respect. Shit, I might even think you got some. I like men of standards and class. You're not really lit until you untouchable. So you think a man with class is gonna find you classy as well? Good luck. Being a pass around is distasteful. You ain't nothing to have for real, and I'ma treat you just as such. Oh, interesting. She says she can whoop any man on the base, so she challenged them. This is her fault. Wow, wow. 
and she regrets that challenge now. Equal rights, equal lefts, equal uppercuts. <laughs> It is funny, damn it. She the one that made this challenge. This shit funny as hell. I'm laughing. Fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, nah, she don't want no more. She don't want no more. She don't want no more. Oh. 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 Come on, you gotta fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Oh, now stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's getting out of control. She can't hang. I don't feel one ounce of sympathy for her. You challenged the men to a fight and that's exactly what you got. You wanted equal rights and you got equal lefts instead. And that feminist rhetoric has these women thinking they can compete with a man in anything. They watch that Michael Jordan and Mia Hamm commercial one too many times. And you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. That's not how it works in reality. And she had to find out the hard way. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. In our early 2019, she was very beautiful. She had a bubbly personality. After we had spoken on the phone a little bit, we exchanged text messages and then I asked her out. So at dinner, we were having a good time. She asked me, did I have a girlfriend? And I told her no, and she asked me, was I sure? I was just thinking like, hmm, like she really didn't believe me the first time. After that date, for about a week, we exchanged a couple more text messages. In one of her texts, Brittany asked me again if I was sure I didn't have a girlfriend. So I was busy when the text came through, so I really didn't answer at that time. But a little bit later, I revisited that text message, and that's when the red flag was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. In my past relationship, I had those type of issues, but she really didn't believe anything I said. It was just a bunch of drama. So instead of texting Brittany back, I just didn't reply. So I admit that I did ghost her. Brittany okay. wasn't giving me a chance, is. to be honest, so, you know, I felt like I really didn't need to give her a chance. There. <laughs> how you doing? Pretty good. Good to see you. I nice see you. You guys know each other? Yes. Hey, Casper. <laughs> 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 so, Brooklyn, y'all haven't seen each other since um, April? Yeah, since April. When you first met Brittany, what'd you think of her? I thought she was amazing. I thought she's very, she, obviously she's very pretty and you know, her personality is what really stuck out to, the most to me, so. Right. Yeah. And uh, you know how you know she's crazy? She went on one date, got ghosted and had to drag him on the Dr. Phil show. That's crazy for you. You, you start seeing some red flags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what was the first red flag you saw that made you think, eh, I don't know. Well, the whole thing she kept asking me, did I have a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was it was a sign of trust. Did you? Issues. <laughs> no, I didn't have a girlfriend. See, 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 see. Look. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so April 19th. 12, 14 a.m., Brittany says, I had a good time. Thank you for my hot wings. Next time, I'm going to beat you. Also, I know I asked you this on the date, but are you sure you don't have a girlfriend? Wow. Now, this is, this is the first date, right? Right. May 2nd, 8.29 p.m., Brittany. Hey, is everything good between us? You don't have a girlfriend or anything. No, yeah, because he stopped texting as much. He stopped calling as much, so somebody was getting his attention. May 8th, 1136, Brittany, you never answered my question. And like, I hate when guys start backing off and don't tell me what's going on. So if there's a problem, please just tell me. Brooklyn, just a little. So it ain't just him. Other guys have noticed this before and they dipped up on out of there. Busy right now. May 10th, 557 PM, Brittany. Hey, everything good? Brooklyn, yeah, just busy. Brittany, okay, did you still want to meet up and go to the movies and then bowling? Crickets, after that. Cause you crazy. He never responded to that. It reminded me of some drama that I went through in a relationship I had in the past. Don't just stop texting me or stop calling and then here I am wondering what's going on. And like, you don't leave somebody on red like that. Like, just say you didn't want to go. Like, don't be a coward about it, you know? 
Ooh, don't be okay. crazy about anyway, it. You know, I do apologize for not responding to your text. No, and you shouldn't none apologize. None of those messages you never said, you keep asking me if I have a girlfriend that's bothering me. Like, you never said that. <laughs> he definitely dodged the bullet on this one. Now, as men, we can understand you asking us if we're single. That's a very fair question. But to continue to ask over and over, and you even see she asked several times on the show, it just screams insecurities and past trauma I haven't healed from. And as a man who's focused forward, you don't have any time to deal with somebody that's going to hold you back because this is only going to get worse. She'll be up your ass 24-7 asking you where you're going, what you're doing, who you're with, not out of concern, but out of control. And when it comes to women like this, you have to keep this one thing in mind. It ain't to that bitch up. Keep this in mind and you can't go wrong. That's going to do it for this video. So subscribe to the channel, like the video. And if you guys have anything to say, please Leave it in the comments below, and until another time, I'll see you guys later.